Hello everybody! In this tutorial I would like to explain about our scheduled uploads calendar. You can go and view it from the uploader and then go to the rightmost tab called scheduled uploads calendar and here you'll be able to view in a monthly display uh, or a daily display whether you, you can choose it. Now it shows me the monthly and if I click here I'll see the daily uploads. Here they are. Uh, you'll be able to see all the uploads that you have scheduled for this month or for today. What can you see here? So first of all, from this display, you can see how many were successful, meaning how many, uh, once a moment, how many uh, you have uh, scheduled to be uploaded, to be uploaded and were successfully uploaded in their scheduled time. How many failed? This, this one, I'll stop clicking. <laughs> This one, uh, this on this day, I had uh, 13 failed out of all the uploads that I've uh, scheduled. So I've scheduled 103 uploads. 90 of them are pending, will are waiting for the scheduled time, and 13 have failed. If I go to the eye icon, I'll be able to see exactly uh, the status for each upload and a more detailed description of why it failed or uh, just a notice of the the success so uh, the more you have of course it takes loader uh, longer to load and here i can see them so what do i see here uh, the uh, source id in this case it's amazon.com uh, amazon uh, the title the upload date and you can see that these uh, are pending and the nice thing about that is that if this one, for example, is pending now, I from here I can change it to uh, be scheduled tomorrow, for example, or I can decide to delete it completely, or I can go here and edit it. If I click here, it will send me, and I'll open it in a. Let me show you. It will show. It will take me to the full item edit of this um, upload, which is really great because. You can schedule a lot of items and maybe you don't have time now to do all the editing that you want, but you can just do it now or maybe you can give access to your virtual assistant that will uh, do that for you. Uh, when I go back, let's go back, sorry, to the uploader. You can see, as I explained, that you can delete them. Uh, you can also reschedule them. So how do I reschedule? I have 90 pending now and only 11 pending for tomorrow. And let's say I want to uh, move some of them. Now, unfortunately, we still don't have this option in bulk. <coughs> we also don't have the option to delete them in bulk. It's only individually, but we'll add it in the future. And I want to take this listing and uh, schedule it for tomorrow instead of today. So I just need to click here on the date. And this little tiny um, calendar will open. I choose tomorrow. I choose the time, the exact uh, um, hour that I want. And then I click Save. It asks me, am I sure? And yes. And now what I will see is that for tomorrow I'll have 12 pending and 89, and 89 for today. Okay? And this is how you can manage all your uh, scheduled uploads and change them and edit them before the product is actually uh, uploaded to eBay. And a very uh, important point that I would like to stress out is that we do not charge you for scheduled uploads. We had many customers asking that. Uh, this is completely for free. We don't charge you anything. The only thing you'll be charged is the insertion fee that you pay to eBay, but you don't pay any specific fee uh, for a scheduled upload like eBay does. If you go and upload directly from eBay, eBay will charge you a fee for that. But we don't do that. As far as eBay are concerned, you're uploading that immediately because it waits. it's pending in our system and not in eBay. Um, and that's it. If you have any further questions for this uh, scheduled upload calendar, please feel free to ask us at the support chat and you can also find more information on our help center or our YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.